Hi, I'm Amanda Martin with Deephaven, and we are excited to show you how Red Panda and Deephaven together provide the perfect tools for real-time data analysis. Red Panda is a standalone Kafka-compatible platform, usable right out of the box and requires no setup. Also, they're 10 times faster than other Kafka streams. Deephaven is a powerful query engine that quickly ingests this live data and also seamlessly joins it into historical sets. Now, let's get started. In this example, um, I'm going to be using Red Panda to pull in financial data through the DX Feed API. Now, if you go to our Deephaven examples organization, we have a lot of repos for you to check out. The one working, we're working on today is the Red Panda DX Feed financial data. And so to get started, you can see that we have a whole bunch of how it works, components, high level overview, low level overview. Now, what we want is just to launch this. So the easiest way to launch it is to first clone the entire repo. And this is set up so all you're pulling in is the Red Panda DX feed information. I'm going to CD into that repo. And then we have a script, Red Panda start.sh. I run the script. And lo and behold, now it's running all the dependencies and everything else we could possibly need um, to get started. Now, that might take a second or two. So while that's doing its thing, I will show you what it did. So we made this directory. We go into that. And here you can see that it, it loaded a whole bunch of files. We have the Docker Compose file. I'm going to open that up and see what it has. Okay. So here's the Docker Compose. We have a Red Panda service, and that Red Panda service is on port 9092. Now, this is just with one node, so we don't have to worry about a whole bunch of other things, but that's plenty for us. And then we have the Deephaven containers that we're going to load. Now, notice here that we're going to be on port 10,000 for our Deephaven IDE. And we want to make sure that all of these are healthy for it to proceed. We also have a whole bunch of these containers that are different DX feed financial data. So we have a container for the quote, which is essentially running a Python script to pull the quote data from DX feed and into our Red Panda stream. And then we have a very similar um, series of containers for all of those. So let's open one of those up and see what it looks like. Inside DX feed, here are all the Python scripts for us to look at. Now, notice that it is installing DXFeed and Confluent Kafka. And that's all the real requirements we need for this file. Now I'm going to open up my, let's do trades table and see how it works. Okay, here's the trades table. So we can see that I have a sleep in here, just in case I need to um, wait for some of the other containers to open um, before we get the, the Kafka started. That sleep only happens the first time. Now I have my producer set for Red Panda, and I have my DX feed endpoint set on a different port. In this example, we're pulling in about 12 different symbols from the stock market. Now, since we're using the free DX feed, those are the only symbols we have available. And so if you want to add more symbols, then you can either upgrade your DX feed, or my suggestion is take this example and do something completely different. So this Kafka stream is going to be called trade. And we essentially pull from DX feed, we subscribe to it, and then we send the data to the Kafka stream via this function right here. We essentially pull from DX feed. I have the function clean trades, which essentially puts the sequences and the prices in the right spot. And then this line right here will send it to our Red Panda Kafka stream. So that's pretty much how the Python script works. Now, let's go to the next step. It says running the script will start Docker containers. Go to the local host to see it. Here is our local host or our Deephaven IDE. Now, did you see anything about Red Panda? All there was was a Docker service in the Docker Compose that I got from their website. And other than that, it worked just right out of the box. Um, so I'm going to refresh this layout, and here we can see is a whole bunch of tables populated. We have a query over here, and data is coming in. Now, with this, we're at the mercy of kind of how the stock market is doing and DX feed and things like that. 
Um, we can have different queries that we run to want to run with the data. But let's check out the data first. We have trades data. And if you look at it, we're up to almost 6,000 entries now with, with all the trades data. We have our quotes. And right now I'm limited to the AXP data. I can change that. We're only looking at, remember, these 12 symbols. I'm going to change that to be, um, let's do Google. I'm back here to my trades. And now notice how everything changed to just Google. I go to my candle chart. It's all Google. The profile. We have summaries. We have orders. Just a lot of data. So let's do something with the data. One of the things we can do is we can aggregate the data and look at the min, max, average, and so forth. So I'm going to run this query. And then I'm going to make the table, which is the aggregate of the quotes table based on the min, max, and all that other stuff. And so here you can see is the symbol and the various min, maxes, and averages. Now, if you want to do more complex analysis, for example, you can do a table that is the related quotes. And this joins the trades table and the quotes data um, so that we can see essentially more details on what's happening. Another really cool thing about processing stock market data is the exponential moving averages are, are pretty important. So here I have some exponential moving averages defined, and we can run that, and we'll see a new EMA table pop up that shows the, the moving averages of the data. Um, now in this one, I have it set for 10 minutes for a few of them, and then 100 ticks for the other one. So remember, this is changing in real time. And right now, we're only up to cost Kafka offset about 11,000, almost 2,000, or almost 12,000. Um, but that's a lot of data that's just coming in. We can also do some plotting. So here we have some plots, and I'm going to run the plots, and we'll see what we get. Takes a little bit of a second. But here you can see is some of the data for, in this case, uh, how Google's changed with time. So there you have it. You can see that it's pretty easy to take data from a normal website like DX Feed, they publish their APIs, stream that into Red Panda, and then port it into DeepHaven. It's a partnership made in heaven. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on Getter. See you later.